am the fifth generation of our family to be farming in this area. Me and my father, we farm together uh, around a little over a thousand acres of farm ground row crop. Three years ago, we built this hog barn. We custom feed pigs. We feed out a little over 8,000 head a year of fat hogs. And we also raise a little over 300 head of cattle. So a very diverse operation and uh, I wouldn't pass it up for the world. We use propane in our operation. First of all, uh, we heat our house with propane. The pigs out here, they use the same heating sources that we use in our own house. So if it's good for us, it's good for the pigs. We have 2,400 pigs, 500 cattle, and 3,000 acres of corn and soybeans. I use propane to heat my pigs when I get babies. For about the first six weeks, I can keep it really warm in there, and we dry our corn with it, and we all heat our homes with it. Well, people don't want us to raise pigs in town, so we need to be able to do it out here in the middle of nowhere, and propane helps us do that. In the hog house behind us, last year we went over 13,000 gallons of LP through uh, the big heaters and through the little brooder heaters in the barn. When those baby pigs come in, they're weighing 12 to 18 pounds, and they need to be warm. They need to be 83 degrees. So there's five heaters on each side of the building that get the, the room to temperature. Then there's brooder heaters, two in each pen, and mats below to take the warmth in. And those mats are in the high 80s when that heat comes down off those heaters. So it really helps the little pigs out to, to grow fast. I get pigs about Christmas every year and it's pretty cold out and you have to keep a little bit of the barn almost warmer than they care for or they'll pile on top of each other. Keeping the pigs comfortable is, is pretty much the whole point of a confinement building, and uh, propane's a big part of that. So being with uh, the climate-controlled barn, you try to eliminate mother nature as best as possible. When the hogs are market weight around 300 pounds, 280 pounds, uh, the barn wants to be at 60 degrees. When they're just brought in like the pigs we have now, uh, the barn wants to be at 83 degrees. The heat is instant, it's fast. Couldn't really ask for a better heating source for being out where we are in remote areas like this. So when we're going through the decisions on what we're gonna be putting into this barn, um, as far as heating sources, we you gotta be cost effective. You can't be spending a lot of money on things uh, and not return on it. And as far as LP usage, you want something that's very efficient and um, that will get you further down the road with using less. Propane and how we use it is the most cost effective thing at the end of the day. It's uh, the best fuel for our heating sources that we need. Cost effectiveness is a huge key in being self-employed and owning your own business.